The chair of the St. Vincent's Hospital Group, James Manton, told the Eurotus Committee on Health yesterday, St. Vincent's Hospital Group is a secular organization. Well, St. Vincent's Hospital Group still has St. Vincent in its name? Does it not still have religious statues and icons in its grounds and in its hospital? And why is it that at the same time as that contribution was being made, that a quick check on the Sisters of Charity website uh, would, you'd see the following statement. Healthcare is provided in an atmosphere of Christian love and compassion, operating according to the values of the Sisters of Charity. So is this a lay Catholic successor organisation or a secular organisation? I think the answer to that is pretty clear. Now, Fianna Fáil might have calculated the odds here, cynically, saying that their voter base tends to be older, their voter base tends to be more conservative, and maybe they won't lose much ground as a result of this decision. There's no Fine Gael deputies that I can see in the House. I think their voter base might be a little bit different. Abraham Lincoln once said, oh, there is, there is, so I'll address it to yourself, Minister. Abraham Lincoln once said, that you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you won't fool all the people all the time. I hope I have that quote right, but you know the one that I'm referring to. Now, you jumped on the repeal bandwagon very late in the day, but I think it will be a lot clearer to people who gave you a degree of support around that, that in the struggle to separate church and state in this country, you know, Fine Gael, uh, where you stand in relation uh, uh, to that. And, and other issues as well, uh, Catholic control and influence uh, in other hospitals around uh, the country. Finally, in relation to the Green Party, they used to say of the Labour Party that it, it wrestled with its own conscience, but the Labour Party won in the end. And we see that in relation to uh, the Green Party uh, today. The government's cynical decision to support the motion uh, might get it off the hook of the embarrassment of Deputy um, Harrigan voting against uh, the uh, uh, motion today. But I think the people who voted Green in 2020 We'll see what's going on here, and they will remember the stance that the Green, Green Party have taken on this come the next election. Thank you very much, Deputy Barry Dipper.